Let's unbox the uh, K8 by Fafine dynamic vocal mic. Let's check it out. All right, what we got? We got some kind of a uh, bookmark. We have a K8 user's guide. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this, it comes in this pouch. I think that's gonna be about it there. Uh, let's see here. So it's got a, whoa, it comes with an XLR to, what is that, TS cable. That's pretty dope, TS quarter inch. Um, that's gonna be useful. I'm curious as to why they wouldn't have included a XLR to XLR, but I actually need one of these, so this is great. We can use this for the Diggy Tact, we could use this straight into the four track. Uh, that's cool, so that's great that that comes with that. That would be my one question for Fafine is XLR, what do you think? Yes or no? Oh wait, there's something else in here too. You get this nice little pouch. That's pretty cool. I think it comes with a windscreen too. Oh, that's cool. Got a little got a little smush, but hey, that's awesome. You got your little windscreen. You got the um, pouch, we got the directions, the windscreen. And here it is, it's in this nice little plastic bag, that's cool, I've never felt a plastic bag like that. Here it is, this thing looks pretty sick. It's heavy. First impression of this thing is, it's got some weight to it. It's got an on off switch, which is cool, it's got to make sure to tell your singers and people recording to make sure they turn that on, otherwise they'll think their cables are busted. But that's cool, you can turn it off right at the source if you need to. Standard uh, XLR in, and let's let's see what we got here. Taking off the windscreen. Cool. So there's your element. It's looking looking very similar to uh, like an SM58, something like that maybe. It's a pretty sick mic. The one thing I would I would f from Fafine mic clip would be useful because you're already you're already there. You got the you got the windscreen, which is cool. Pop screen. You got this awesome cable the pouch, uh, and I, I think I would just like to see a mic clip with this. Other than that, it looks great. I, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy with this. Let's see how this thing sounds. So I was pretty surprised with the findings on the guitar recording. The Fafine needs a lot less gain than the SM57, but it has more contact noise, meaning when you're holding it, you're gonna hear the handheld noise of you physically moving it, etc. The SM57, again, needed um, a lot more gain to get it to the same level as the K8, which again, I thought it was surprising, but I guess because the source was loud, the guitar amp, uh, the Fafine needed a lot less gain than the SM57. Hello and welcome to 424 Recording, a podcast about home studio and lo-fi recording. We're answering recording questions and talking all things music, especially in the punk, grunge, bedroom, and indie rock genres. This is Mike from 424recording.com, and I'm pleased to be joined by Jay the Wizard from Operation Audio and Bohemisphere Studio. What's up, Jay? In terms of the podcasting, the Fafine is quite noisy as compared to the SM58. Uh, it's still a cool mic. Uh, I would just say if you have a bigger budget than the $30 that this costs, I would step up to something like the SM58. Uh, this does sound great on the guitar though. I really thought this was a great mic compared to the 57. This is basically a 57, but with the uh, windscreen on it or whatever. So in terms of softer sources like the human voice versus the guitar amp, which you can really pump and not need as much gain, this picks it up way better and stays 
way cleaner as you add more gain to it. And as you add more gain to this guy, it gets quite noisy. So based on these two tests, I would say the Fafine is awesome at recording loud sources. You don't need as much gain because you can turn the guitar amp loud. So, so for really loud sources, such as like a snare drum, kick drum, overhead for drums, bass amp, this would probably do really, really well. Uh, I think this would go toe to toe in all those examples uh, with the SM57. I was quite impressed with the guitar amp recording that we did as compared to this, because I'm used to using this and I kind of know how this sounds and this sounds a little brighter maybe, but not much. And this is maybe a little darker, but they're like right there next to each other. I think with a little EQing, you could probably clean those up quite easily. But in terms of podcasting, I would go with uh, an SM58 or something along these lines that's gonna be a lot cleaner as you add more gain because as you get a softer source, this needs a lot more gain to pick it up. So it gets a lot noisier as it goes up in terms of the uh, volume. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a mic for podcasting. Like I said, loud sources, this would be awesome. I think this is, this is a really great mic. I'm really happy that I have this in my mic locker now. I'm really excited to use it the next time I record some drums. All right, so as I was saying, the one other thing I think with this mic that would improve it is shipping it with some kind of mic clip. This is a Shure mic clip that comes with the Shure mics, and this is this other shockproof one that I have. And uh, this mic is pretty large, so it, it's, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of strength to get this on here. Um, and I would almost be afraid that for like this clip, if you had it, you know, if you're doing like an overhead or something with it, it could pop out of this clip. This one works a lot better. It's kind of like a stretchier material, so you can kind of just put it right over it, but still it's, you know, compared to, I have an SM57 right here. In comparison, to give you an idea of the size of this, it's uh, quite a decent size bigger than that. So if you're used to using these, I mean, that's why I'm most interested in this mic because, you know, for the price point, you can get about four of these for the price of one of these. So it's a it's a good size mic. It's it's got a lot of heft to it. And then here's also an SM58. So just to, just to give it a little bit of a comparison to these, to these three guys here. But yeah, I would say consider shipping the mic with a mic clip. Another item that ships with the mic is this cable. It's an XLR to quarter inch TS. Uh, I'm assuming because of the type of consumer that this is aimed at, you know, this is maybe for like a karaoke machine or some kind of mixer where you don't have XLR inputs. It actually works, works great for older four tracks like the Tascam 424 because all the um, inputs are quarter inch inputs. So it's a cool cable. I mean, it's, uh, it's actually really useful for me in my personal situation. I can use it in a lot of different ways. One thing I'd like to see with this mic would be maybe an option to include uh, an XLR cable. Um, I think I got this one it's a Mogami one or something, but I think I got this one free with another mic or something, but I don't see why it wouldn't be too hard to have an option maybe to ship the mics with just an XLR cable or your choice of cable, just for different people, different types of uses, you know. I could see it being coming in handy with an XLR uh, versus this cable for a lot of people. Overall, I'd say the Fafine K8 is pretty great value. You get all this stuff with it, pouch, windscreen, the cable, which maybe with an option to get that XLR I was saying would be great. And I think if Fafine could throw in a um, mic clip with this too, it would it would take it over the top. You know, some people may not have a, a clip for it or a clip that's big enough given the, given the width of the mic. Those would be my recommendations. But overall, I'd say it's a great mic for the money. I wouldn't say I would go and replace all of my like Shure SM57s with the Fafine, but it's another great mic to have in the mic locker for recording and given the resilience of it, I would say it would be great for live sound and reliable, at least as from my brief time with it, it feels, it seems another workhorse type microphone. So that concludes my review of the Fine K8 microphone. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, 424recording at gmail.com. I hope this review was helpful to you uh, for Fine great mic consider shipping it with a mic clip and maybe an option for xlr an xlr cable this is mike from 424recording.com godspeed my friends check out the fafine k8 on amazon and see what you think i'd be curious if, if, do you have do you have this mic do you have mics similar to this in this price range 
be curious to hear your thoughts. Like I said, I, I, would, I think I might grab a couple more of these and uh, use them for different aspects of uh, drum and rock recording. I, th I think they would do really well. I'll catch you on the flip flop. Don't forget to do something you want to do today. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you nerd. Peace.